Hello and welcome to the Vlogmas. I have a little bit of a better attitude today. Not 100%, but man, I'm getting there. Anyway, um, there's a dog. Hello, hello dog. Um, he did not poop or pee in the house while I was gone today. So that's a success. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out on our walk and go. He, well he goes potty and poopy outside. I don't do that anymore. Anyway, so I just want to check in, say hi. Attitude is better-ish. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the comments and love on the last video. If you want to see what I'm talking about, I will link it wherever it goes. It's going to be a journey and I am going to see my regular physician um, next week. So once I see him, then we will um, explore some other, possibly some other options, as well as, um, you know, petitioning the insurance company for, sorry, camera just like totally cut out, but um, my battery is dying, that's why. So I will see you guys um, a little bit later and then we will discuss. Thanks for the love, bye. Well, hi, it's a bit later now and I figured I was kind of getting ready for bed and I, wanted to do my nighttime routine with you guys because I just feel like I don't really have much to say today besides thank you. <laughs> um, I've been reading all of your comments um, from yesterday's video. I haven't really responded to too many. You know, there are a lot of opinions out there about, you know, what I should or shouldn't do, but, um, you know, all you guys have been really supportive and giving me advice and everything too, so I'm really thankful for that. Especially uh, you guys that have like been through, you know, fighting with insurance companies and all that good stuff. Um, but to answer some really, really popular questions, yes, I am gonna be going over this with my primary physician and I'll be doing like an appeal thing. In the meantime, I am going to be taking my physician and surgeon's advice and trying to do some other things to get the acid blockers to work. Like I wanna try everything I can and I'm just open to everything. I know there's like a big heated debate about the weight loss surgery thing, if it would work and all of that stuff. And I do trust the physicians that I've been working with over the last year to really help me figure out what's going on with my body now that I know we can do something about it. However, uh, it's kind of like a hurry up and wait kind of a thing right now. Um, so yeah, I will be talking to my physician. We will be doing a petition. However, I'm going to do some, uh, kind of proactive type stuff right now. Um, just to either, you know, rule things out or see if there's other possibilities down the line. So, um, if I get some acid blockers that work, then I can just do the freaking surgery like I was supposed to. Um, but I, I just don't know if that is, um, feasible or not. So, we shall see. So anyway, let's get into the skincare routine of the evening. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get my thingamajig out and I'm like, I don't know why I like put my robe on. I'm like, I just wanna wear a robe right now. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny. Um, anyway, so I have my Clarisonic here. I use the Clarisonic Mia 3. That's what I use. And then um, I have my Cetaphil, which is a maze. So I'm gonna cleanse my skin real quick and then I will uh, come back with, you know, other things because, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not very exciting now, but I'll be right back. All right, face is all wet now. And like, here's a quandary for you guys. How do people not get like completely soaking wet washing their face in a sink. How, how, do you guys know? Because every time I wash my face in the sink, it just, it, it's, a, it's a mess. It's, it's now officially a mess. So I have one towel for my actual face and then this towel is already soaked and I put it like in front of the sink because if I don't, it just goes all on the floor. So I get minimal splatter on the floor. There is some, minimal though. And then 
the rest of this is used to like wipe up all the rest of the stuff. And it's like sopping wet. So like it's, it's super wet y'all. So I end up putting it, well you guys can't see it, but I end up putting it um, over here to like dry out for the night because I can't put it in my laundry because then it's just gonna be wet and it's like never gonna get dry. This, however, will get dry because it's, it's just like damp. This is my face one. Anyway, okay, ha, ah, we are done with the face washing. Let's do the face toning. And um, this is the season for hella dry skin. And I have, um, I don't know what is going on with my skin. I, it's all attributed to the cold weather because I live in Minnesota and it's really cold right now. But um, yeah, so I have like, I don't know, like kind of like, not rough patches, but I feel like scaly. Does that make sense? I don't know, probably doesn't. Anywhere. I also probably need to do, um, what's it called? Dermaplaning? No. I can't remember. Like when you shave your face. Um, I actually do that about once a month. And oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, it makes like your skincare work so much better because it like soaks in. And it just like gets all the dead skin off of your face and um, removes all of your um, like peach fuzz too. So anyway, um, makes, you know, the products work better and then you know if you wear makeup which i don't really i mean i wear like tinted moisturizer and a little mascara but um you know if you wear makeup it goes on a lot smoother as well so yeah um i don't know i really i've been doing it for a while and i really really like it and it's like very exfoliating i don't know i like it okay now that that's done i'm going to use my CeraVe PM Lotion and if I can find any of these products I'll try to find like an Amazon link and put them below um, if y'all are interested um, but yeah this is just my nighttime face lotion I just I don't know I really like the CeraVe or CeraVe I don't know how to say it um, and like Cetaphil brand stuff it's just worked well for my skin. I've tried like super high-end stuff. I've also tried like just regular, you know, stuff too. And I just feel like this stuff and like Cetaphil brand, for whatever reason, just works really well with my skin. Like it just reacts nicely to it, which is always a good thing. So I'm gonna do a little layering today. Um, since my skin is like super dehydrated, I am going to, not like super dehydrated, but you know what I mean. Um, I am going to use some of this. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. Uh, my friend Jody from Life's Organized Chaos uh, turned me on to this and I absolutely love it. And ooh, I'm getting towards the bottom of it. <laughs> um, but this is so nice. And on the days that I don't wear any makeup at all, like not even the tinted moisturizer, just no makeup. This is what I do. Um, it gives a nice, I don't know, it's not like a sheen, but it gives like a coolness to your skin, which is awesome in the summer, by the way. Um, I'm kind of putting it on strong right now, so I kind of look a little, I don't know, the lighting in here is bad anyways. But, I really, really like this, and it's very, very nice, and it's very, very, like, refreshing. Um, I don't know, it feels like, it feels like, you know, water on your face. But, like, good smelling water? I don't know. If y'all have tried this, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, but yeah, the days I don't wear any makeup at all, I will, you know, just put my regular moisturizer on. I'm using the PM one right now because it doesn't have any SPF in it. But normally the one with the SPF I will use um, if I'm gonna just, you know, be leaving the house or whatever, be out and about, taking Doyle on a walk and whatnot. Um, and then I'll put this on too, just as like an added layer of, you know, moist, moisturizations. Ugh. And you always wanna do your neck too, cause that's 
where it shows the age first, y'all. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna give it a second to dry and uh, put the things away. And P.S. My lips recently have just been like, I have this like one like crack in my lip and it will not like heal. So that's really frustrating. Frustrating? Wow. Frustrating. I can't talk today. So I'm using this. It's the C.O. Bigelow My Favorite Night Balm. And um, I actually wear this during the day too. But it's super thick and it stays on all night. The only issue I've had with this stuff in the past or even wearing um, like a balm at night is if I like lay on my pillow, I tend to get um, like clogged pores and stuff right around here. But I haven't had that happen yet this winter, but I'm sure it's coming. But that's my own fault. That's my own fault. Um, okay, so what else do I need? What else do I need today? Okay, so like in my skincare drawer, like trying to trying to figure it all out. Okay, since I really don't have like any crazy active breakouts, I am going to use um, a couple of things. So this stuff I love. It's from the drugstore. It's by the brand Rock R O C. Um, I feel like this works just as well as any like other high end eye creams or like wrinkle reducing creams out there because it's got to a lot of the same ingredients. So anyway, here is the eye cream. And again, I'll link this one below, but it's the Retinol Correction Eye Cream. And it says, visibly reduces wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. And, um, you know, I don't know. I just kind of put it here. I do some up here as well. I do have kind of more hooded uh, eyelids. So I like to put a little bit up there and then like some right in here um, because I always remember, well, I mean, I still wear makeup, but once in a great while I'll wear like foundation and man, it drives me nuts because it like cracks like right here. So I always try to like get this little section. Um, I don't know, just one, one of those things, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but, uh, I don't know, I don't do the eye cream all the time. I used to do like a ton of eye cream and then um, I ended up unfortunately getting these little bumps um, under my eyes. And I think there was only like two of them. I had them removed, but um, it was like buildup of product is what it was. So it was basically like a clogged pore that looked like a little white head and you couldn't like you wouldn't have been able to see it unless I was like really close, but it really did bother me. So um, uh, I went to a dermatologist and they actually removed it and it hasn't come back yet, but they're like, yeah, it's just build up product. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, sorry, my nose is like rubbing. <laughs> Best vlog ever. <laughs> All right, and then this is the Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. Clearly they have a day cream, I would assume then. And then this is for like not eye stuff. So I like to put it like right around here, you know, all the, all the good places. And then, you know, right around here. Cause that's kind of like where your lines kind of start. And then I like to, um, get my forehead too, even though I don't, uh, like that's like that's my that's my forehead look <laughs> I don't really have like too many wrinkles on the forehead and I'd like to keep it that way so you just you know it's just all about the moisturization of the skins last thing I'm gonna do tonight is this Carez wild rose uh, sleeping facial I believe this was called yeah advanced brightening sleeping facial this stuff Smells like a goddamn dream. Um, it's so good. And I don't have a ton of it left, but we're gonna go in anyways. 
Um, it's, oh, it's so good, you guys. I, I think my mom has tried this one before too and she's like, oh, it smells so good. And I must say, like this is a, it's a sleeping facial. So um, it's like a thicker cream. You put it on and you sleep with it on. And I gotta say in the morning, your face smells so good. I mean, it smells good when you go to bed, but it's kind of amazing that like, it kind of lingers the next day. Especially when I do this on like a Saturday or Sunday and I don't really have like tons of plans. I'll, you know, start the laundry or whatever. Um, and I'll just kind of like wait to take a shower for a while <laughs> um, because it's like, oh, my face smells so good and it's so hydrated. Um, yeah, so I kind of put a lot on. You don't have to put this much on. I'm just putting a lot on because my skin is getting a little drier due to the winter times. Um, but yeah, a little goes a long way though. A little does go a long way. So if you're in a way better climate than I am, just FYI, it's gonna last a little longer. But I've had that jar for um, a little while now, so I will probably have to invest in another jar soonish. But yeah, I've probably had that jar for a little over a year. I don't know how long they're supposed to like keep, but I'm the only one dipping into my stuff and if it ever looks a little suspect, I will not use it, but um, you know, I probably keep my products for a little bit longer than is uh, recommended, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the I think that one was like, maybe 50 bucks or something. Um, so yeah, it is a little expensive, but you know what? Like it's kind of worth it. Um, anyways, so that's my routine. And since I don't have like, this isn't a breakout, even though it kind of looks like it. And then I don't really have any breakouts at the moment. This is just, you know, my skins. Um, normally I would put on, if I had like an active breakout, I would put on this stuff, this Mario Badescu drying lotion, and it like literally dries up, um, any active, you know, pimples or, uh, imperfections or anything like that, but this is just my blotchy face that's always kind of there. So, yeah, but my skin is very fair, and like these little things are from previous breakouts but it just it just stays nothing i can do about it it just stays whatever um so yeah oh there's a dog in here <gasps> wow wow hi bumbo what are you doing he doesn't know what he's doing so yeah i think i'm gonna head to bed here pretty quick i might edit uh maybe not i don't know i haven't fully decided i kind of want to just go to bed um I feel like today's been a lot um, just because of like I had to kind of tell my coworkers what was going on and stuff too like they know um, about you know my health troubles and that I was going to see my surgeon and all of that so you know, they're very invested in like what's happening and um, concerned because I'm not always at the hospital or not always ho hospital wow um, not always at uh, the office and um, you know I send them emails when I'm working from home um, so yeah it just it sucked to have to you know let people know what I told you guys yesterday so Andy Bree um, yeah so I've got my computer screen up I think I'm just gonna load the footage and then I will edit um, you know when I get home from work tomorrow or something because I is tired and then Doyle is doing Doyle dog things. Yep, he's gonna, he's gonna sit in his little spot. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna keep on blabbing on and you guys know me. I can just keep on blabbing on. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow for the next Vlogmas. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.